Hi, I'm Dave with ClearPath Robotics. Today we're going to go through uncrating and getting started with your Husky robot. To open up your crate, you're going to need a 916 socket. And depending on the version of the crate, you might also need a number three Phillips bit. Inside the top of the crate, you'll find a box. Inside that box, you'll find a user manual. A controller, it might be a PS4 controller or it might be a Logitech controller, depending on your version. And a battery charger. The next thing you'll have to do is undo the two ratchet straps that are holding down your robot. There'll be one on the back side of the robot and one on the front on the other side of the crate. If you can't get to the one on the other side, you'll have to undo all the bolts on the back side and pull that side off too to get at it. For those who don't know, to undo a ratchet strap, you pull on the inner part that's spring-loaded and straighten it out. Once it's straight, the ratchet will undo. So, on your robot, pull on the spring-loaded part, straighten it out, and then you should be able to loosen your strap off. Inside the crate, off to the side of the robot, you also find the battery. Push in these two buttons on the back of the Husky and you can pull this plate off. Then slide your battery into the battery bay and line up this plug with the plug in this side here. There'll be red, black, and blue. Just line them up and click it in. On the robot, hit the power button to start it. On the back here, you have your status lights. So up top here, you have a, a rough charge of the battery. Down here, you have a light indicating whether uh, Ross has started and communicating with the MCU. If it's green, that means everything is good to go. If it's red, there's either some sort of communication problem or Ross just isn't running. If your e-stop is pressed or your e-stop key is removed, um, then your comm light might be yellow, which means communication is there, but it's e-stopped. And your stop light and error light will be on. Down here, you have a light just indicating whether the robot is charging or not. So to reset it, if you do have an e-stop, just turn the reset button and pull it out. You'll see it turn green again. If you got the lithium upgrade to your Husky, there won't be a battery beside it in your crate. The batteries are installed inside it and can't be removed. What you'll have to do is find this inside your box. You'll have to take this and plug it into the back of your Husky. That connects the batteries internally. So then you can turn it on start to work. Now what you can do is take the top or the front door of your robot or of your crate, lie it down and just kind of squish it into the bottom there. And then take your controller. In this case, it's a PS4 controller. Uh, so this robot has kinetic. You hit the PS button and it will flash. Once it stops flashing and the light goes solid, you can drive your robot. Uh, to drive it, if you hold down L1, that's the dead band. It's a slower speed at about 0.4 meters per second. If you hold that down, then you can drive it around with the left stick. R1 uh, is driving the robot much faster. If you hold down L1, you can use the left stick 
to drive your Husky out. If for some reason you aren't able to put this down as a ramp um, to get your Husky out, you can lift it out with someone. Uh, but if you're gonna do that, make sure one person uh, grabs and lifts by the bumpers. Uh, that's the, the safest way to move it. In this case, this Husky is kinetic, so it came with a PS4 controller. Um, if you have an Indigo version uh, of a Husky, you get a Logitech controller like this. Uh, in this case, you need to make sure that your switch at the top here is on X, not D, and you need to make sure that the mode light is off. Uh, in that case, A is drive slow and X is drive quickly. In, uh, for the PS4 controller, the controller talks to these antennas, so those need to be um, you know, not covered and connected properly. If you're using a controller like this, you'll have a small dongle, a little USB dongle here. This is what it communicates. So if this isn't connected or is covered in some way, you might have problems driving it with the controller. Everything I've gone through is for a standard Husky uh, with no sort of special integration. But if you had anything integrated, uh, any sort of payloads or software by our integrators, um, your robot may come out a little bit different, might have different software, or different setup. Um, there will be a custom robot manual that comes with the robot. Make sure to look at that and it'll explain any sort of differences with your machine. Now that your robot's unpacked, you can drive it back to your desk and get started on your research. Check out the next video to find out how to set up more advanced networking and Wi-Fi. Uh, after that, if you have any uh, other questions or you want to check out any more tutorials, check support.clearpathrobotics.com for that. Thanks for watching. Done.